TGIF and welcome to Fridays with Flora on this really crisp, wet fall day. And this is the kind of day that you want to get a nice cup of coffee and you want to kind of just enjoy fall. And one of the things we're going to do today is a really simple craft that you could do with your family or your kids. And it has to do with um, preserving fall leaves and their color by drying them and using Mod Podge to create a nice centerpiece. So this is something that you can do on your own or like I said, with the kids, it's super, super easy. And if you don't have Mod Podge, you can just use Elmer's glue, water down, it does the same thing. So first things first, you gotta get out there and go collect some leaves. The better, um, the more color and the more texture, the better for your piece. And um, what I would suggest is, you know, you and your kids trudge around, go on a hike, and you know, see what there is to see for fall. There's a lot of migrating birds. There's still some migrating monarchs. They're late, but I have seen a few of them. They're kind of late and I tell them to shoo off because it's gonna get cold real fast. I don't know if they can understand me, but um, I get real nervous when I, when I see them. Um, but there's a lot to see out there. And um, I would also suggest that with those leaves, kind of use um, a damp paper towel with some soap and wipe them off you know, take whatever mold and dirt is on them and then place them on some paper towels and put another piece of a paper towel on top and, f and put something heavy on top and let them sit overnight so they can dry out, they can flatten out and you've got any kind of mold or any funky thing that would have been on them off because then your piece will actually last a long time. You won't have mold or mildew or some weird stuff growing on it. Um, once you pull it out of storage, come next year. We don't want that. So um, that's your assignment. I'm going to collect my stuff. I did my leaves last night so I could do this video with you. Okay, so kind of a supply list. Um, leaves. And um, they start losing their color pretty quickly. So that's why you wanna do this project, you know, within a, a day or two of collecting your leaves. And um, wanna make sure that they're, they're clean, like I said, nice and dry. The drier, the better, they'll take the Mod Podge better. So I have my leaves. And even though I flattened them out, some, some actually bounced back a little bit, but the drier and the flatter, the better. Okay, so I have those to the side. I have a paper plate and I have Mod Podge. Boop. And this is for glass. There's different kinds. Um, I have this one for glass, but like I said, you could use Elmer's glue or any kind of school glue, watered down, works great. And I have a trusty sponge brush. They're like a dollar or less at the craft store. You can also get just a regular paintbrush. It's fine, nothing fancy. And then a quick trip to two places. The dollar store, if you've got one nearby, it's a treasure trove of cheap things to play with for crafts, if you don't know. <laughs> um, now you know. And they've got a ton of fun things and they have seasonal things. So, you know, this was a dollar, this was a dollar, and it's great to create this centerpiece that we're going to make. They also have a lot of LED uh, tea lights, like fake candles. Um, you could also use real if you want, but I don't know, with all this flammable stuff around, I'd rather do LED, I'd rather be safer. Make sure that your stuff fits, like so. It's up to you how many. I like to play with different um, heights, different shapes and sizes. They also had this really cute um, vintage milk jar, which I'm not gonna actually cover with leaves. I'm going to go outside and see if I can find some cool twigs and berries to um, put in there. But you're basically creating like a little cluster of light. And the final thing is, well, the semi-final thing, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. And, Pause. Can you tell I'm a little, <laughs> a little excited about this project? I love fall and I love decorating for fall and so I'm super excited about this because this is gonna look great on my table. Um, the dollar store also had just a ton of fake leaves. So even though we're gonna be using real leaves on here, the fake leaves will be nice for 
what I'm gonna show you in a sec. And I also got cinnamon scented pine cones. Now, if you're with your kids and you're, you know, you're seeing acorns and real pine cones, those are great too. Um, in fact, you know, I would recommend doing that because then it gets your kids really involved and you can also teach them, you know, about the cycle of life and like how plants um, and trees reproduce and have seeds and how they create new baby trees. So um, whatever you can find outside and bring in is great. Just remember to clean it, debug it. Otherwise, you've got some interesting wildlife coming into your house and you don't want that either. Finally, you want a tray. You want like a holding element for all these goodies to make it truly like a central centerpiece. And I went to the thrift store and they were having a sale too. So this was like two bucks and this is a really great tray. It's, it's metal. I would have liked something a little bit more rustic and tin like, um, almost like a farmhouse feel. Couldn't find that. You never know what you're going to find there though. I did like the wood handles on this. So I picked this. They had a bunch of trays. Um, it's up to you what kind of style you're going for. Um, but you want to have at least a good few inches around to put all of your pine cones and leaves. You know, you're nestling in your lights in the middle. Okay, so that's kind of your supply list. You get a sense of what we're doing. Um, and now we're gonna start to decoupage our glass. And it couldn't be easier. You put some decoupage, Mod Podge, on your paper plate. A little goes a long way. If you want to water it down, you can, but I have a feeling these leaves are going to be fussy, so I kind of want the strength. And you take, and first you want like a sticky surface. So you want a nice thin layer where you're placing some of these leaves. And what's great about Mod Podge is it's actually a natural preserver of the leaves, so it's going to preserve that color. Oh, one more thing. Grab some scissors. If you don't like your stems, you can keep the stems. I just think they're going to go all willy-nilly and they're not gonna behave, so I'm gonna cut them off. So as you place them on, you know, use your fingers to kind of stick and then you're going to put a thin layer over it. This is gonna take patience because the leaves aren't gonna want to form, but the more Mod Podge gets kind of saturated and also starts setting, just keep coaxing them to start sticking and shaping. And you can see things start to stick. This guy down below is already starting to shape. This is one of my newer ones. He's being stubborn. Um, and it's probably gonna take another coat. But basically just keep doing that on the pieces you wanna cover until they're completely covered. And after you get one coat down, go over it with another. If you wanna move a little faster, what might be a good idea is to set that first coat on your glass and let it dry a little bit so that it's kind of tacky so it'll kind of let that leaf stick. So just keep going. Coaxing, I let one side dry a little bit and then I'll like move on over to the next. This has been sitting for about, I would say an hour. And every once in a while I would, you know, kind of push down little edges as it's kind of setting. And you can see there's a gloss, and you can see with the glass Mod Podge, it, it 
dries really clear and shiny, which is nice. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the, the leaves are tricky. You know, some curl up, little edges come up. Um, they don't necessarily wanna conform to the roundness. So what I would also do before I put down the leaf is I, I um, kind of wrapped it around my finger and kind of curved the fibers a little bit so that they would conform a little bit to the curvature of the glass. So things are tacky and I set them actually by the heater to speed up like the vent where the heat's coming out. Um, so that's one layer. And I think at this point I'm gonna add a second layer, just a thin coat on top of everything, just to make sure everything's good and set. And still go gentle because there's, you know, there's areas that might still be a little wet. There might be still some movement. But you're gonna basically try to just, with long, even strokes. Cover the whole thing. This takes a little patience. Just definitely getting the leaves on the first go around. Okay, that should do it. I'm just gonna let them sit in front of the heater vent for another hour. Um, and then we'll kind of assemble our centerpiece. So with your dried leaf covered glassware, set it in the middle of your tray. I mean, the rest of this is really easy. And you know, like I said, get creative with it. Now you can even put, you know, nuts, hazelnuts, walnuts. Um, in fact, for Thanksgiving, if you wanna have a nut platter, this might be a nice way to serve nuts. And I had some eucalyptus that smells so nice that I was gonna put There you go. That is romantic. I'm gonna clean up the table and I'll put it at the center and you'll see the whole effect. Okay, there it is. It's really nice. And you know, I urge you and your kids to come up with different ways, different trays, different decorations at the base, different things to put in some of the smaller jars. And I'm gonna turn off. See? It really makes the house cozy. 
So that's it. So that's our really fun and easy craft project for this week. Um, thanks for joining me, and I hope you can get out there and enjoy that fall weather. It goes by so fast, and then the next thing you know, especially if you're in a, in a state that enjoys the four seasons, um, it will have snow, I think, pretty early this year, because fall is really early. So anyway, um, thanks for joining me, and join us in a couple weeks. I, up, I update the channel every two weeks with a new project. Uh, a new craft, a, maybe a gardening project when it's gardening season, um, and also lots of cooking and cooking basics, and sometimes I get my family involved for some of the more Italian-focused dishes. So anyway, thanks for those of you that have subscribed. Thank you so much, and if you've just come upon my channel, please subscribe. It really helps us out, and um, I also have a blog and I'm on social media, all the different channels of social media. And I also have a shop if you like kind of that urban cottage chic style that is part of the Urban Domestic Diva, check it out. I'm on Etsy as well as the Urban Domestic Diva shop. And I just updated some really fun fall things. Um, in fact, my fall garden flags that I designed are doing really, really well on Etsy. So, and I'm really proud of them. So go check them out. Anyway, that was me rambling way too long. Anyway, see you in a couple weeks. Bye. Mwah.